Hello, and welcome to the Longevity Learning Lab. Today, we're going to take a look at the five basic weld joints that make up much of what we weld in our industry. So the first of the five basic weld joints is something that's called a butt joint. And a butt joint looks something like this. It's generally going to be made up of a couple of pieces of material that are placed side by side. When we get ready to do welding on it, we can either place the weld across this upper seam here, or if we had x-ray vision, we could see the lower seam in a location where a weld could be placed down here. So once again, this is the first of the five basic weld joints, and this is what we commonly refer to as a butt joint, and what we've illustrated here is specifically called a square butt joint. The next one we'll take a look at here is something called a lap joint. So a lap joint looks like this. It's made up of two parts that are overlapping each other. The two parts themselves sit one on top of the other, and then a fillet weld is placed in the joint between the two parts here, either on this upper surface here or on this lower surface right here. So once again, this is the second of the five basic weld joints, and this is what's commonly referred to as the lap joint. Now, the next one we're going to take a look at is something that's welded up quite a bit. This one is called the T-joint. So the T-joint looks something like this. It's made up of two parts that are placed on top of each other at 90 degrees, and then just similarly to the, like the lap joint, a fillet weld can be placed right in here at this joint between the two components. And once again, we can come over on this other side and we can add welds over there as well. So once again, this is the third of the five basic weld joints, and this one is called a T-joint. The next one we're going to take a peek at here is what's called a corner joint. So a corner joint looks something like this, and there's a couple of variations on a corner joint, but today we're just going to talk about one that looks like this. So this is what's commonly referred to as a open corner. So the two parts intersect either usually just about 90 degrees or something like that. And then we either have the option to come in here and place a fillet weld right in here. And a lot of times we have to come back and we have to grind that weld off and radius it over. Or if we want to, we can also come and add reinforcement inside this inner edge here as well. So just remember, this is what's commonly referred to as the corner joint, the fourth of the five basic weld joints. Now we're going to take a look at the last one. So the last one is usually made up of a couple of pieces of plate that have been placed next to each other, side by side, and then we're tasked with welding up the joint or the groove between the two connections. So here, in this particular case, we could place weld along this edge right here. And then once again, if we had some x-ray vision and we were able to see inside of the part, we would see something that looks like this. And then we could also come along and either place weld along this lower section right here, or even better yet, in a future video, we'll cover weld symbols but if I put in the correct weld symbol and put the all-around symbol right there, that circle, and I pointed it at our joint, what that would be telling is the welder to weld up the entire joint all the way around the whole component. So once again, this is the fifth of the five basic weld joints, and this is what's called the edge weld. So once again, thanks for hanging out for a few minutes. We'll have more videos like this in the future covering weld symbols and preparation on weld components and groove welds and other types of welds that we frequently have to make. So once again, thanks a lot for hanging out with us. If you like what you see, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and we look forward to seeing you sometime in the near future. So thanks again, and hope to see you back here real soon. So take it easy, and have a great day.